All right, guys. Welcome back to some uh, ESO. Right back where we left off. We gotta go find. Fuck. Which one is the main mission? Oh, the other one's in Skingrad. It's this one. All right. Um. Wait. Am I tweaking? Hold on. <laughs> oh, I haven't been on in a few days. Hey, stuff sold. Let's go. I made a hundred bucks. Um, yeah, I haven't been on in a few days. Um, quest. It's this one. I don't. Why was I having such a hard time with that? <laughs> Those are both just side quest in Westfield. I was doing during the event. The event's still going on. I just stopped participating because I got that mount. So now I just don't care. So we got to go over here. And into the Hall of Trials. Um, sorry if I stifled you, my allergies are bad. Uh, I can't breathe out of my left nostril at all. So, it sucks. I took my allergy medicine too. I, I take it every day. But if you miss a day, it get resets because you got to take it for like five or six days for it to work again. So I think I missed a day on accident. I just wasn't paying attention. But, yeah. Anyway, let's get back into this. So we're going to enter the arena. I don't remember what we were doing exactly. Like I said, it's been a few days. But I'll f we'll find out. This is who I'm observing. This is the most lame fight I've ever seen in my life. That was boring. Can I kill her now? Oh, shit. No one has said a word yet. I don't understand. Your okay. prowess is impressive, champion. Come up here so that the Stormfist cheated. These Nords have been poisoned. Your brother Filgo sends his greetings, false king. He wants you to know that he has returned from exile to claim what is his by birth and by right. Your rule is over, pretender. Prepare to die. Poison, Filgo. What is the meaning of this? Guards, seize that woman! For Filgo! For the rightful king of Skyrim! Oh, Show no mercy! Let's go! Oh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> Over here, just chill. Prepare to die, friend. I win. Oh, there you go. Give me your fucking ass. Look at the XP in the bottom. It's crazy. As soon as you get to champion rank, you just get so much more XP. 16.1k right there. 17.9. That's the kind of stuff I was looking for when I was grinding. How is there still a guy over here? God. Go team. Motherfucker. The storm Hello, my king. Bastards did their worst. This was a message from my brother. One I wasn't meant to survive. I feared this day would come. Um, are you alright, King Joran? A mere scratch. Nothing more. The Stormfist clan's assassins are dead, and that's good enough for me. I guess I become too complacent. While Filgor's hatred has obviously deepened and festered. Your brother hates you? After dear Nurnhild fell in battle, my brother and I threw back the invaders. Afterward, we disagreed on who should succeed our sister. I believed in diplomacy and wisdom. Filgora believes in rule by force. I couldn't let him take the throne. Why has Filgor, Fil Fildgor returned? 
When I won the throne, I was forced to exile Filgore. He never forgave me for that. So I assume he returned to take the throne. I wonder what he has promised his Stormfist and Orc allies. I need to think about this. Please tell Thane Mira that I'm fine. Okay, goodbye. Alright. Talk to Thane Mira Stormcloak. Easy peasy, man. Those Stormfist guys had nothing on us, you know? Came, we saw, we conquered. I really should be looking in the chest, or not the chest, but like urns and uh, crates and random shit more, because you can get blueprints and like designs out of them. It's rare, but you can, you know? And every shot you don't take, you miss, you know? So. I should definitely be looting them. I think I'm just lazy, and I prefer to just play more story stuff than run around. That's why I think I don't like a lot of MMOs. They're, none of them are like story focused. I think that's why I like You're ESO. Back. Tell me, is King Yorin well? Uh, King Yorin sent me to tell you he's fine. That's good to hear. You don't know yeah. how relieved I am by this news. Of course, you yeah, risked no your life, even though you had no duty to uphold or vow to keep. Hey, to me that makes you the champion of the day. Thank you. While you were aiding the king, a runner arrived king. from no, Port kidding. Morvenskar. The fort oh, okay. is under attack. Fieldgore and the Stormfist clan are certainly behind the attack. <clears throat> it okay. can't be mere coincidence. Windhelm must be protected, but we can't abandon the fort. Fildgore's launching multiple attacks. It makes sense strategically, but we were Did I just hit triangle and it went? We weren't expecting to fight a war while the pact leaders were I'm in council. I'm gonna triangle if it goes. That's crazy. I need your help. Captain Hamar sent the runner. Report to him. Find out what's going on at the fort. I'll find Captain Hamar. No, I I must have not hit. I you thought I hit triangle. My honor <laughs> and the honor I did Windhelm. not. This Ebonheart pact. Is worth more than I hoped. Yeah. May all your enemies fall before you. And yours. I, so I think I understand why Cadwell's having us do this. You know what I mean? Because it is a, uh, it is making it. It's showing us that Aldermary Dominion, which is the one we picked, you know, it's showing us that it's not. How do I how do I word this? It's showing how every war isn't one-sided for the most part. You know what I mean? It's showing how that dis different perspectives can lead you to um, going different ways and going about doing things a different way. You know? It's showing that perspective um, is kind of what has war be war. You know what I mean? Because of their perspective, they're fighting with the Aldemary Dominion. And in our perspective, being in the Aldemary Dominion the first time, it seemed like we were the good guys. But now that we're playing Ebonar Pact, it seems like the Aldemary Dominion is the bad guys because, I mean, look at what we dealt with um, that this whole time so far. We've been primarily fighting Aldemary Dominion. And they've committed things that I would say would essentially be war crimes, you know? So. It's just showing how, yeah, it's not it's not one-sided. There's multiple ways of looking at a certain thing, and that leads to different groups, clans, whatever, armies, fighting over that same thing, you know, because they see it and perceive it in a different way. Mayor Stormcloak sent me. Just you. I hope you're so I, I get you why Cadwell so has us doing don't this, and I kind of like we're that we're doing it. Here. Um, okay. The storm fists came out of nowhere and forced us to retreat from the fort. We escaped, as did Lieutenant Coruni and a few of the soldiers. Okay. I don't know the storm fists model, <clears throat> but we haven't seen that clan around here for almost a decade. What can I do to help? Coruni sent word that she plans <clears throat> to sneak into the central barracks. If you could liberate the soldiers that were captured during the battle, <clears throat> you could assist the lieutenant when she tries to retake the barracks. I'll free the captured soldiers and meet Karuni at the barracks. 
Good luck freeing our soldiers. I'll stay here and wait for the detachment from Windhelm to arrive. I have some questions, Captain. Anything to help with your mission, but we must be quick about it. What's so special about Fort Morvinskar? Fort Morvinskar's primary purpose okay. is to protect the royal tombs beneath it. Oh, shit. Most of our departed rulers are buried here, including our dearly missed Queen Nernhild. Okay, okay. Beyond that, it doesn't really hold any military significance. Who are the Stormfists and how did they capture your fort? The Stormfist clan hasn't been seen in these parts in almost ten years. Back then, they supported the traitor Filgor. Filgor. As to how they took us by surprise. <laughs> God, my sure. fucking nose, man. They came out of nowhere. Still, it dishonors us that we failed to stop them. <sighs> how do you plan to retake the fort? I received word that Lieutenant Corone plans to try to infiltrate the central barracks. Oh, take out the lead okay. of these invaders. Okay, okay. Meanwhile, I need to wait here for Windhelm soldiers to arrive. Okay. And then we'll sweep in and join the lieutenant. Okay, goodbye. Alright, let's get in here and deal with some bitch ass bitches. God, I want to play Skyrim so bad. <laughs> I want to play it so bad, dude. It's like all I think about every time I open up ESO lately. Especially with us being in Skyrim right now. All I want to do is play Skyrim. It sucks. <laughs> That's where my mind is every time I play. Hurry up and untie me. I want to get out there and crack some heads. Um, here you go. Meet crew and you at the barracks. Keep your head down. Nah. Here you go. Meet Karuni at the barracks and keep your head down. All right. I won't crack any heads until the lieutenant says so. I'll meet you at the barracks. Goodbye. Oh, I forgot. We had an entire store walking away. God, I want to play Skyrim. I hate it. <laughs> I should make a video on Skyrim. I've made videos on Skyrim. Actually, I don't think I've made, for, made any of the videos I made on Skyrim public. Except for me talking about the PS5 upgrade. I think that's the only video I made pub pu public for Skyrim. Forgot about me. Let me untie you. Rendezvous with Lieutenant Karuni at the barracks. I'm on my way. Goodbye. I'm curious now. I'm pretty sure that's the only video I ever uploaded of Sky Skyrim that's public. No, because I think I did do a playthrough before. Oh no, yeah. Never mind. So I did do a playthrough a few years ago, and then I did some Creation Club stuff, which that got views. I was doing a modded Skyrim run. Huh. I got six episodes in, and then I stopped. It's because Skyrim's so long. And then there's also the Anniversary Edition uh, episode or video I made. That thing got 700 views, you know why? Clickbait. <laughs> I named it Skyrim Anniversary Edition. They didn't say anything about news, and I just played the PS4 version of Skyrim and talked about it. For like 30 minutes. I mean, the views are there, but people immediately after, I'm assuming after they realize, hey, this is the PS4 version, just left, you know? <laughs> I think the watch time on that video is like fucking 5 minutes out of an hour long video, or a minute long video, it's not great. I wonder what mods I even was doing in that modded run actually. Because the PS5 and PS4, its mods are ass. Because we don't, we can't use any um, special textures, they have to be in game. And we can't. I won't bow to field gore. Thanks. Sorry about that. Okay. Come here, guys. Prepare to die. Give me that gold, boy. Sneaky. Gotta be a sneaky boy. Sneaking. He doesn't see us. He doesn't see us. Shh. Shit. Shit. I can't go up there. Shit. 
Come on. Come on. You gotta be sneaky. Okay. Shh. Oh no. This is so hard. There we go. There we go. Shh, shh, shh. Sneaky. You ready? You ready? Yeah, sneaky. Fuck you. And that's what happens when you're sneaky. You kill them with, with ten hits. They're not even in here. <laughs> I thought they were in that house. They're up here. My sneaky ass didn't matter. What, are, how, what level are we? We're 211 on champion. When are we going to get another outfit? 250 maybe? Because I think you get level, or I think you get outfits until you get to 500, and then they just go away. Let me get those ropes. You need to speak to the barracks. Everyone's, uh, you need to sneak to the barracks. Everyone's mustering there. Thanks. I'm on my way. No problem, lady. Goodbye. Sorry. I wonder. Hold on. I'm gonna look up real quick. Rewards for champion rank. Rewards. For champion rank ESO. Uh, ESO, best champion. Champion rewards, here we go. Golden State and Dark Seducer. Imperial Chancellor. Oh, that's it. Oh. Well, we have all the outfits then. <laughs> you get nothing else for champion ranks. I assumed we would get something at 250. Apparently not. Oh. These are friendlies. <laughs> I, I activated everything. Can I talk to you? Oh, I did get in the fight, I guess. Goodbye. You rescued my soldiers. For that, you have my thanks. Happy to help. What's next? We are ready to take back the barracks. Man, I fuck need the you barracks. to deal with the invaders' commander, the Nord <clears throat> Find his orders. We need to know what's going on. They should be someplace safe. Okay. Not far from wherever you find the lout. I'll deal with Halskir and find his orders. I had a feeling about you. Glad to see that I was right. Now follow us. Goodbye. Enter the barracks. Time to cause some fucking mayhem. <clears throat> Defeat the warlord, Halskar. I can't go anywhere else. Oh, it's a fucking maze. I thought someone was gonna attack me way sooner. Oh, it's because that guy just came in here, that's why. He just killed everyone. Design. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. Got his possessions. Let's go talk to the queen. She was up there. Back. Wait, what? I guess she was up there. What what outfit were we rocking with no costume on? Oh yeah, let's go back to this. Look badass.
Oh, what the fuck? <clears throat> I am Nernhild, Queen of the Nords. I come to you from Sovngarde with an urgent demand. What do you need, spirit? The relics you took from that strong box were stolen from the royal tombs beneath Fort Morvensgar. What should I do with the relics? Return the relics to their rightful places uh -oh. in the tombs below, of course. What else would you do with them? Accomplish this task, and I shall forever be in your debt. I'll return the Leave relics me to behind the this tomb. building, at the entrance to the tombs. I shall wait for you there. Goodbye, friendling. Goodbye. Jumping off our ledge. You are floating, ma'am. Or is it a perspective thing? No, you are floating. I think. The barracks are clear. How did you fare against Halskar? Halskar is dead. I found these orders in a lockbox along with these relics, bruh. Let me look at those orders. I see. Those dogs came up through the crypts. That's how they surprised <clears> us. <throat> It says something here about their true prize being in the crypts below. I wonder what they could be after. These orders make it sound like the Stormfist wants something from inside the royal crypts. And they were actually signed by Fildgore Orkthane. That means the Skold King's traitorous brother has returned. What can you tell me about the royal tombs? That's what I know. Skyrim's royal family and their honored servants are interned below. Well, the dead ones anyway. Okay. The fort was built to protect the crypts. They are precious relics, to be sure, but nothing to make these brigands risk so much. The, these relics were in the box with Housecar's, Housecar's orders. Well, there you have it. Thievery and desecration. Still, these orders seem to imply there's more to it than that. Perhaps you could go below, return these items, and make sure everything is alright. The entrance is behind this building. I was heading in that direction anyway. Go on. Check out the crypts. We'll handle things up here. Did you see the woman I was talking to? Woman? What woman? I saw you strike down Halskar, pull something from the lockbox, and then pause for a long moment. I thought you were catching your breath up there. A uh, ghost appeared when I took possession of these relics. Well, they do say that the royal tombs are haunted. Soldiers tell stories of seeing and hearing strange things during night patrols. Still, if a spirit spoke to you, those relics must be special. Did the spirit happen to give you a name? She claimed to be Queen Nernhild. Queen Nernhild? Our beloved queen was struck down in battle against the Akaveri ten years ago. I'd listen carefully to whatever Queen Nernhild said to you. You are truly blessed, my friend. Goodbye. All right. There ain't no rest for the wicked. There ain't no rest for the wicked. There ain't no friend of mine. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Ass. Is it gonna be ass, guys? Ass. It's all ass. It's all ass and titties. Time to head in. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. Bookshelf? Nope. Bookshelf. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Ain't no friend of mine. Alright, what are you doing, Queen? Waiting for you to arrive. What do you want me to do? The relics you recovered are very important. When they were removed, it disturbed the Draugr below. Please return the relics to their proper resting places. Sounds simple enough. There's nothing simple about this matter. You must return the relics to the exact spot they were taken from. Inspect each chamber carefully, for there will be clues as to the proper placement. I can advise you, but I know little of these relics. Uh, are you really Queen Nerdin Nernhild? Who else would I be, mortal? Recent events have called me back from Sovngarde, but I am still my people's beloved queen. Now, don't you have some relics to put back in the tomb? 
Uh, returning the relic, so uh, I'll do my best. Sorry, hold on one second. Okay. Sorry about that. Fort Morven Skull. Fort Morven Sky. Find the first burial chamber. <clears throat> okay. Getting somewhere. Come down here and look I'm around. Down here. The cup belongs on one of these altars. Place the cup on the ornate altar. That was the wrong altar. You have awakened the dead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the way, nondescript, simple altar. Oh, I've got the doctor for that. Okay. This chamber contains the remains of the honored cupbearers who served the rulers of Skyrim. So I should return the old Nord cup to this chamber. I believe so. The old Nord Cup symbolizes and honors the servants who perform the thankless duty of providing for the needs of each generation's royal family. Do you have any idea which altar it was taken from? All I can tell you is that the cup holds the key. Examine it carefully and choose wisely. Oh, examine the cup? How do I examine the cup? Let's go simple. Cup seems at home. That appears to be the correct altar. Very good. I will see you in the next chamber. Okay. You got it. When winter comes, the old men sigh. They know their day has come to die. We all must drink, push to br the brink. Our hopes that sink, gone in a blink. Brago the small hated the cold, he hated the heat, he wasn't even fond of the days that were warm and sunny. He was a strange little Nord, but that was what made Brago the small a hero. One day late in the winter, when the snow was falling hard and fast. Fioki lifted his singing blade lovemaker above the Dunmere's head. Silver hair shone in the moonlight as if it, as if made from the same steel as the sword. A single tear, tear rolled down her ebon cheek. Don't cry, you knew I couldn't stay, whispered Fioki, and then he was gone. I'm like struggling to fucking read, I guess. When the snow returns and the rivers freeze, sun hides like a child between its mother's knees. The wise Nord knows that the end comes soon. He grows impatient, awaiting his doom. Why do I have to read those? I'm gonna talk to her before I interact with the battle stool. This chamber contains the remains of advisors who serve the throne. Trusted counselors, viziers, and shamans are buried here. What can you tell me about this book? The book contains a collection of ancient Nord proverbs. As you can see, a page has been torn out. But that was not the only book damaged when the Stormfists invaded this chamber. You need to find the correct page to restore that ancient book. Which page is the correct one? Read the book, and any pages you find. Matching a torn page with the writing in the book should be simple enough for one of your experience and skills. Goodbye. Okay, I guess we gotta just figure it out. Pedestals be, uh, the pedestal appears to be a good resting place. For the truth of the North book, I should find the missing page and place the book here. I don't know what any of this is supposed to mean. Um, we're gonna go with the damp page. That is not the right page. Try again, mortal. You got it. Let's try the dry page. The book fits in the pedestal. Fits on the pedestal perfectly. Excellent. Oh yeah, huh? That was ancient Nord. I'm a Khajiit. 
I speak Khajiiti and shit. Talk to Queen uh, Theranurnhild. Okay, Queen. This is wrong. Something is terribly, terribly wrong. What's the matter? My body. The crown of Freydis. They should both be here, but they are gone. Um, did the Stormfist take your body? No. Layers of magical protection engulfed the interred. Any Stormfist that tried to even touch my body would have been obliterated. Only those of royal blood could have... No. What is it? My brother. Has all honor deserted him? Why would he do such a thing? Filled go. Go. Quickly. Perhaps you can catch him before he gets away. You must retrieve my mortal remains and my crown. Good boy. Exit the tomb via the tunnel. Via or via? How do you guys pronounce it? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Just try to get some kind of interaction. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get our sky shard real quick though. Prepared to die. I thought she was going to start running. I was like, what the hell? Wow, garbage. Get on the horse. Just had to yoink that real quick. Lieutenant Garuni's plan worked perfectly, and she says she owes a success to you. Good job. What happened up here? While you were in the tomb, Karuni launched a strike against the invaders from the barracks. A detachment of soldiers arrived from Windhelm just in time to help us take back the fort. That's good news. It is indeed, and thank you for your help, my friend. As long as we hold Fort Morvenskar, you are welcome here. Goodbye. Okay, time to talk to the queen. I no longer know my own brother's heart, but now I know yours. Even though Fildgore escaped with my crown and my mortal remains, you have performed a great service this day. Uh, find your body and your crown. Also, I still need to return your amulet to your tomb. Keep the amulet. You earned it. And as long as you carry it, we will always be connected. Okay. You did great work today. Thank you. I'm glad I could help. With Fort Morvenskar back under our control, we should send word to the king. Let him know that the royal tombs are secure. Will you deliver a dispatch to Fort Amal? The king has gone to Fort Amal? Yes. Reinforcements from Windhelm brought the news. The king has gone to Fort Amal to meet with packed dignitaries. Take word of a victory to the fort. Speak to Thane Oda, wolf sister there. I'll head to Fort Amal as soon as We're I can. We're going to get the fort up and running again. My scouts report that there are still Stormfist troops in the area. Um, where did they see the Stormfist troops? My scouts report that the Stormfist are fortifying Cradle Crush to the southwest. We can't let them establish a foothold, or we'll never get rid of them. Um, hold on, sorry. Sorry, hold on. I'm having a fucking stroke, Jesus. Um, what is Cradle Crush? It's an old orc fortress. 
but it hasn't been used by hostile forces in years. We should attack the Stormface as soon as possible. If only we had the troops for such an action. We're in no condition for another battle right now. But I think we have time. Something strange is going on over at Cradle Crush. But it doesn't appear that they are about to launch an attack or anything. Strange, what do you mean? Unusual sounds. We hear crashes and moans, toppling trees. We see smoke on the horizon. I have no idea what to make of it. And I can't spare anyone else to investigate right now. Um, goodbye. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, I'm trying to... I had to look real quick. I'm trying to get an SSD so I have a fucking more storage on the PS5. Because I... When I sold my other PS5, uh, I sold it with the heat spare with the SSD in it. Because uh, I stripped the fucking screw on accident. Like, it's the, that screw in there is like the biggest piece of shit ever. Because it legit, it took one twist and it was stripped. I was pissed. And then, yeah, so. I got to try to buy one. I, I don't know if I'm just going to get a one terabyte. Because if I just save... A two terabyte is um, like 40 bucks more than a one terabyte, at least most of the time, as long as they're on sale. And it seems like SSDs kind of stay on sale for the most part, so. Because I'm trying to just get a W. Uh, what is it? WB Black or a Seagate? At least that's what I'm thinking right now. Um, and yeah, I mean, those are gonna. It's gonna be like 150 probably for a two terabyte. I just. I don't know. I've been trying to get one too for a while, saying I'll save up money, but I keep spending my money on other shit. Like, I've been slowly trying to get PS4 games and PS5 games physically because... I mean, I have all, I have basically every game I need or want on the PS5, but it's all digital. And with that PlayStation servers being down the other day, I really realized like I should probably just start buying physical again. So. I'm trying to build out my collection Greetings, again stranger. physically. I have like a shit ton of PS3 and 360 and PS2 games and Wii games. And then I have a Game Boy, a DS, a 3DS, a PSP, and a bunch of physical games for those, you know what I mean? And I have the Game Boy Color as well. But uh, I have a dispatch from Fort Morven Scar. Then by all means, let me have it. So I've been trying to get more into physical games. I mean... <laughs> I've been Excellent. buying the movies physically for control. like three Thanks years now. I have something like 500 movies. And I've been buying TV shows too. I'm just, I'm just trying to... Just trying to I'm just trying to get physical stuff, you know? It just sucks too, because I'm now realizing like how many games I like that aren't physical. Um, it's usually like indie games and stuff, but it still sucks to see how many good games or like remasters of old games are not physical, and that sucks. Because like, like, there's this whole thing going on right now um, with uh, I think it's in California. But they're yeah. making it so that Sony has to say on the PlayStation Store that you're not purchasing the game. You're, yeah, you're purchasing the licensing. And that can be taken away at, at any moment. And, I don't know. It, I don't know. I really wish I never went full digital. Because at the start of the PS4's life cycle, I wasn't full digital. I was just buying, you know, like I was still buying my games uh, physically. And, uh, I still, I, the only reason I ever stopped buying games physically is because, um, my friends, um, I would buy, um, I, I would buy digitally so we could, uh, game share. And, I, I, uh, um, I, uh, wish that I never did that. Just because I completely stopped getting physical games, and 
I just wish I kept physical Listen, games. If I you're really part do. of this group, I already explained this a dozen times. Feel free to enter Fort Armel, but the inn is full. There's no more room. And the Jarl's Keep is off limits too, of course. Why are there so many people in Fort Armel? King Jorin and the Ebonheart Pact leaders are meeting here. Between the Nords, the Argonians, and the Dark Elf contingent, they filled up the inn. They even had to set up tents on the far side of town. They must be meeting about something important. That's not for me to say. I don't even want to guess. Commander Ian might have an idea, but you'd have to get it out of him. Whatever the King's business is, though, it must be urgent to call the various leaders of the pack together so suddenly. Thanks for the information. I just talked to him. Why you didn't it? Find? It didn't update. It didn't update. It's still saying to talk to him. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, like I was saying, I've been trying to get games physically. Um, it's just so expensive, dude. Like, people don't know how to price games at all. <laughs> like, because I mainly buy off of eBay. What do you want? Because GameStop Someone and steal my your local gold like, uh, video game bookstore place, they they just overprice shit. I'm wondering what's going on in town. What's it matter to you? You know, so it's, uh, it's hard now? to get games. We stand in line with the rest of the peasants. Because they like people legit do not know how to show uh, up and whine price about something when they heard the king was coming. But he's not here for that. Then what's he here for? King shows up with his honor guard and all the pact officials clearly up to something important. And you just expect me to tell you what that is? Did you always get milk when you whined for it as a baby? Be off! I need to find one of my guards. Are you missing a guard? You're going to stick your nose into this no matter what I say, aren't you? Fine. Thod decided to have a drink with the prince's entourage last night. Haven't seen him since. Probably passed out somewhere. But I can't be too careful right now. Uh, if I find Thod for you, you will tell me what the king is meeting about. I just want this all to be over. We're not used to dealing with so many different groups all in one place. All right. Find Thod and I might let some information slip. We'll leave it at that. Okay. So I, I did lie. I just checked. Uh, I just checked the GameStop real quick. Their prices are pretty fair, at least for PS5 and PS4 games. Because it seems like, as long as it's not like a newer title, it seems like it's like ten bucks to twenty bucks, which is solid. He's absolutely epic. He's been drinking for two days straight now. Two days. I heard one of the four mall guards was drinking here last night, guard Thod. must mean that drunken idiot who tried to keep up with Yegi. He wasn't even in the same league. Whatever he was drinking was pretty foul, though. It smelled more like wet kagooty than sweet mead. I think oh. it might have been Argonian. Oh, Argonian, huh? Do you know where he went? He wandered toward the river, carrying a few bottles of that vile Argonian beverage. He's probably still down there. I'd wager he's either passed out or nursing a bad headache right about now. Okay, goodbye. Find the clues near the river. An empty bottle that once contained a foul smelling liquid. This must be what Thod was drinking. Follow the trail of bottles might lead to the missing guard. Hello, friending. Wake the fuck up. Oh, yes, Naryu. Whatever you say, Naryu. Guard Thod, wake up. I don't want to. Want to sleep. A perfectly good dream. Oh, Naryu. I love you, Naryu. Um, remove the sleeping guard's uniform. Just yoink that shit. 
go just to the top of the bridge and walk across. <laughs> Swimming sucks. It's so slow. <laughs> Swimming is so slow for no reason. If you're still looking for Thod, I wouldn't worry about it. He and the commander headed for the barracks. Thod's getting an earful, I'm sure. I apologize if we wasted your time. But I just left Thod. He was asleep by the river. I'm sure it was one of the other guards. There are a lot of us, and we're known to relax with a bottle of mead or two when we're off duty. And never to excess. So really, I wouldn't worry about it. I know who I found. Listen, I saw them both just a moment ago, and unlike the commander, I slept last night. Now, it's not that I don't believe you found a drunk Nord by the river. It wouldn't be the first time. It's just that it can't be thawed. I can prove it. What do you mean? Both the commander and Thod headed towards the barracks on the west side of town. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with them. Then you can go get a drink and relax. Seems like you could use it. Goodbye. This girl's an asshole, kinda. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Let me go get this way shrine. Yoink. Mr. Commander, where are you? Oh, there you are, spawning in front I of my soul. I told you that we need to be patient. You're always in such a hurry. It's starting to get on my nerves. You're enjoying that body too much, I think. Why, well, I have a mind to... Hmm, can I help you with something? The Fort Amor Guard barracks are off limits. So I hope you don't plan on trying to get inside. I need to talk to Commander Yarn about the about one of his guards. The commander is occupied by other matters at the moment. As one of the officials helping coordinate efforts at Fort Amol, perhaps I could be of service? Uh, who are you? I am a noble and an advisor to the Jarl of Fort Amol. I have been charged with making sure that all of our esteemed guests are well cared for. I assume you are part of King Yoran's guard if you seek to speak with Commander Eon? No, I'm trying to find Guard Thod. He was with the Commander. Ah, yes. Thod. Of course, he was just here. As a matter of fact, you just missed him. You weren't the one looking for him earlier by chance. Eon mentioned someone looking into guard business. Not many folks care about Thod. Uh, the commander and I had an arrangement. Well, how about I help you instead? Eon has been on edge of late. Perhaps the king's presence makes him nervous. Or it's all these foreigners. Who knows? But he has been acting strange. I'd keep an eye on him if I were you. Why are you telling me this? You seem eager to help, so I'm giving you something to do. If I toss around false accusations or involve the King's guards, it might seem like Fort Amol can't deal with its own problems. Trail the commander. Determine if my fears are justified. Okay. Hide behind the rocks nearby and wait for Iarn. You wouldn't want him to know you were following him now, would you? How do I make sure he doesn't see me? He saw me. Took you long enough, Commander. I thought I was being followed. 
We have to be smart about all this. Don't insult my intelligence. I know we only get one chance at this. Besides, word from the inside is that things are going well. Good, good. I took care of things on my end. I stuffed all of the duplicates in Marla's house. As long as no one goes snooping around in there, we'll be fine. Okay. Let's go search the house. Oh, and you'll be good looking. Eating. No way. Fuck off. It's like an inch too tall. People are dead. Here are the empty bottles that contain Dallin's potion. I'd recommend getting them out of the town out of town now that the elixir has been circulated. The quality of alchemical loot you can find in a Daedric rune is just amazing. Illusion, magic, and poison. Both on the same trail. We've been telling everyone that it's an ancient Argonian custom using an ancient Argonian wine. Even the Argonians who I admit were initially suspicious eventually took part. Everyone wants a reason to drink, right? By the eight? By the eight. One of the Nords drank eight bottles of it before stumbling off toward the river, or probably drowned himself. The elixirs are working. People will be confused if they start seeing double, though. We need to get rid of any evidence, you know what I mean? You just have to poke your nose into things that don't concern you, don't you? You yes. can join the rest of the bodies in here. Dumbass. Who does she think I am? I think she can come at me like that. I'm afraid you just missed Commander Eon. Again. He was in a hurry. He always seems to run when everyone else around here just saunters. Uh, Yarn is dead. The man you saw is an imposter. Have you been drinking with Thane Yegi and the soldiers? Um, no. Yarn's body is in Marla's house, along with Marla and, well, Marla and some others. <laughs> what? All of this in Marla's house? You have to understand how strange this sounds. You're telling me that the commander I was just speaking to is actually dead? Yes. And there are others? Yes. Including two dead Marlas? Yes. Um, Fildgore's spies have infiltrated for a mall. After that story, I think I might be the one who needs a drink. <clears throat> well, thanks for the information. Yep. I'll make sure to look into these accusations as soon as I can. Okay. But you're not going to give up on this, are you? Nope. Listen, let's say I believe you. Let's say there are Stormfist agents impersonating people in Fort Armor. Even if all of this is true, we can't start a panic. The leaders of the Pact are here for kind's sake. Um, so you just want me to play... Let me... Uh, so you just want me to let people die. No, 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 I didn't say that. I just Candidate. don't want you running around crying murder, especially with the Pact delegations here. Think of how fragile our alliance already is. You should speak to Lord Velop. Tell him what you told me. Well, we'll talking to Lord Velop. Verlop accomplish. He's the Jarl's advisor. He has his hand in everything that happens around here. Tell him what you told me. Leave nothing out. Verlop's smart. If what you say is true, and by kind, I hope it isn't, he'll know what to do without causing a panic. Where can I find Lord Verlop? You'll probably find Lord Verlop in the inn. Like most Nords, he enjoys his mead. And I understand that nobles can get particularly thirsty when the king is in town. Uh, you don't believe me, do you? You have to look at this from my point of view. A stranger walks into town and makes outlandish claims about spies and imposters and murders. How do I know that you're not one of these stormfist traitors trying to cause trouble? Check Marla's house. That will confirm my story. You certainly are insistent. I'll grant you that much. 
I'll check the house as soon as I can. In the meantime, go talk to Lord Verloc. Shows bones if there really are spies in Fort Armel. His lordship will know what to do. Okay, goodbye. Um, okay. So that's where we're going to end this episode. So next episode, we are going to go and, um... What am I continuing exploring? What? Um, okay. So next episode, we are going to just continue the main story. Um, there will not be a video tomorrow on Sunday. So, um, just because there's a lot going on this weekend. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So, um... But Monday will be Planet Zoo. Tuesday we'll have another ESO video. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I will see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.